Uh, g'day everybody, uh, so you'll be happy to know that I have finished my challenge and I am still alive. Uh, so I'm going to play a few clips, unfortunately I did lose a few clips when I got my new phone here. Um, so there is a couple of clips that's missing. Uh, you know, I'm cutting my guava in half and realising that it's not pink. Uh, so before I do that I'll just go over the rules and um, that again. So. I was allowed to eat homegrown food, I was allowed to trade with other people for their homegrown food, uh, I could forage and I was also allowed to sell things from my garden uh, just to have a bit of money to spend at the shop so I could trade with people that don't grow things but um, all the money I could spend was limited to fruits and vegetables and eggs and honey and things like that that you can produce in a backyard if you, if you really tried. Um, so the reason I thought now would be a good time, I've been growing this garden for about two years now and um, I think everybody knows like the situation since 2020, things have been getting ridiculous. Uh, you know, half the time you go to the supermarket they don't have what you want anyway because they can't get the stock. Um, plus lately a lot of fresh food is just missing, I mean uh, there was places selling uh, iceberg lettuces for thirteen dollars each uh, a while ago. Not to mention there's shortages on just all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to go one month eating without spending any money, and I'm pretty sure I accomplished that. So uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll play a few clips and then I'll come back and I'll wrap everything up. Alright, so it's day 16, I just put up my part 1 video and I made these cornbread cookies, biscuits uh, so I made them into jam drops and uh, I actually put some macadamias in these ones uh, so they're not bad, I've already had a few obviously this home ground cornmeal is a lot grainier than the store bought stuff would be uh, but apart from that, they taste pretty good and I'm just going to sort of try and save them so that, you know, when I wake up and I'm hungry, I can just sort of grab one and have something to eat. Alright, so I just did another trade. I got some perennial basil plant. I think this is chives. And some flat leaf parsley, looks like. Oh, and eat chilies. Awesome. And a heap of pecans. I love pecan nuts. That's awesome. And another couple of dozen eggs in there. So I'll go and put those in some cartons and chuck them in the fridge. And I'll put these out later. That's real good. Alright, it's day 18 and it looks like. This guava is going to be ripe in a few days. It's still a little green on top, but it's starting to turn yellow at the bottom. So hopefully we'll get to try that this month sometime. All right, it's day 19. I'm just making some more salsa. I'm almost out of tomatoes. I've got... Yeah, I've only got that left. And I got bought some pears uh, by my friend who lives here for some garlic. So, enjoying those. Alright, and I've also made some more macadamia nut milk, and I've saved this uh, nut milk meat, uh, so I might be able to do something with that. You know, don't really want to waste it since there's so many calories in the uh, macadamias. <laughs> Uh, so I ended up trading another pumpkin just for some more honey and uh, just a cheap thing of tomatoes because I was almost out of tomatoes. Uh, but this honey, uh, we used to have an IGA Express down the road and they recently changed to a spa supermarket and this is the cheapest honey I've ever seen. It's only $7 for a kilo jar so i have to try that later. Alright, the cornbread worked out pretty good. Uh, so that'll be good for breakfast, I think, in the morning.
Alright, it's uh, oh, the end of day 21. I just made some lemon and honey cordial. Uh, just with one of those lemons that I got. And a bit of honey. Uh, so I'll give that a go in the morning. And I'm just sort of trying to plan out my meals for tomorrow and the next couple of days. Uh, I'm sort of starting to run low on a few things. So I've got enough eggs to have two eggs a day uh, for the next nine days. I think there's one day without any eggs, but uh, I'll figure that out. Uh, so yeah, everything else is going good. I should have enough potatoes. Uh, I picked uh, a little pumpkin there the other day. It's probably not completely ripe, but I'm gonna make a batch of soup out of that and see what we can do. All right, it's day 24. I'm making a bit more cordial uh, just to use up most of those lemons and uh, also it's it's a good change from drinking water all the time just um lemon and honey but uh yeah there's only a week to go now and i'm just starting to think about all the stuff i'm gonna eat i'm thinking i might go to the bakery and get a whole heap of stuff for my first meal back all right so yeah it's day 26 i'm a bit disappointed that guava didn't work out um I had to go shopping yesterday, uh, just buy some food for the end of the month. Uh, sort of looking forward to that. <laughs> but um, I've still got six days to go, uh, including today. And um, I've dug up the rest of my sweet potatoes and uh, pretty much all the potatoes I think uh, are gone at the moment. So I've got... Uh, a few eggs left and uh, a couple of avocados still actually from the very start of the month so i think i should have enough to do me plus i've still got uh pumpkins heaps and heaps of pumpkins so i'm definitely not going to go hungry uh so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to you know midnight uh next month uh so i can go back to being able to eat without having a you know, stop and think about it for a, a while first. But, um, yeah, I think I've done fairly well. Um, I probably would have done more foraging. It's just been, I think it was raining three weeks of this month, so I didn't really get a good chance to go and do anything. I've just been hanging around and trying to conserve as much energy, not eat too much, and, yeah, make sure I've got enough for the whole month. But, um yeah, it looks like it's it's going to wrap up soon, so I'll be happy to get back onto regular food. All right, so it's day 27 now, and um, I did eventually realize that that guava was ripe. It just wasn't a pink guava. Uh, so the little tree when I bought it must have just been mislabeled or, or something, or they didn't know the variety people that I bought it off, but um, it appears to be another Mexican cream guava. So that means I have two Mexican cream guava trees. Uh, there is still a little bit of fruit, but um, yeah, I guess my brain hasn't really been working properly <laughs> the last few weeks. I didn't realize in time before I'd thrown it in the compost heap. Uh, so I didn't end up getting to eat that, but uh, yeah, I'll know better for next time anyway. All right, it's day 28, uh, four days left to go. I just made a thing of pumpkin soup. Uh, so that should hopefully keep me going for the next few days. And I'm just about to use the last of my frozen tomatoes. I've just peeled them and I'm gonna make some more salsa uh, just for my, to go with my eggs. I have left uh, so yeah not long now um, I am running low on pretty much everything um, down to my little tiny potatoes and you know cherry tomatoes and stuff but uh, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to make it even if I have to eat soup
nothing but soup for the last day. <laughs> Alright, so it's day 30. It's pretty much the end. I've only got like one and a half days left. Um, I ended up just trading uh, some labor. I pulled some bushes out out the front for $10 and I got uh, a couple of trays of bananas for two bucks each and uh, another bag of some sweet potatoes since I'd eaten all mine. Uh, but yeah, this pretty much will do me for the next couple of days. I've still got a few eggs left uh, and then I'm back on normal food again so I can't wait for that. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd show you that, uh, since that's probably the last trade I'll be doing. And, um, yeah, I just got sick of cooking, so bananas are good. They're basically just potatoes that you don't have to cook. They taste good, so bonus. Alright, it's uh, my last day since I got these bananas and honey and stuff. I figured I'd make a smoothie, but... Um, I just need to make some more milk first, so I've been using these macadamias uh, for milk the whole time and um, they've been really handy actually. So there's only half an hour to go. I'm just uh, sort of waiting. I bought this uh, caramello koala like three weeks ago. Uh, so that's gonna be my treat. Uh, so I think I've definitely earned that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. I'll probably still be a little bit hungry. All right, so it's uh, June, so the challenge is over, but uh, I did just trade for some more eggs, uh, some yak on rhizomes, because uh, one blew over in the uh, in the wind the other night. Uh, so yeah, free eggs, can't complain. But uh, yeah, definitely happy to be back on uh, regular food. I had a ham sandwich before I went to bed last night, and that was really good. So I have to go and buy something to eat, I think. Alright, so I just went to get some food, went to the bakery, got a steak pie, and a cheese and bacon sausage roll. So pretty much the exact opposite of everything I've been eating for the last four weeks. I also got well, four and a half weeks of chocolate eclair, and uh, a jam donut for later. So just to go over some sort of the results that I had and some of the things that I learned, I figured I'd do the short list of good things first. So uh, I did actually lose a bit of weight. Um, I went down a notch on my belt. I'm pretty sure that won't last. I, I haven't eaten a vegetable in the last 10 days since it finished, so <laughs> that's only a matter of time. But uh, I did learn how to use my, um, my corn to make tortillas and how to use that um, Masa once it's processed in place of flour, you know, I made those uh, those pancakes in the first week. That cornbread was also uh, a masa cornbread. Uh, so I found a good, a few good recipes. Um, Spanish omelets with uh, potato and onion. Uh, I found a good use for my ginger in uh, pumpkin soup because I wasn't able to use um, chicken stock, and uh, I did have vegetable stock, but I just didn't really enjoy that. So. Uh, I found that if you put a bit of ginger in there, that's that becomes like the dominant flavour. So that was really handy. <laughs> Actually made the pumpkin soup really, really enjoyable. Uh, homemade aioli. I don't know if I had a clip of that, but I will be putting up a recipe for that one because I can't eat store-bought aioli anymore. It's crap. Um, <laughs> and yeah, a few other decent little recipes and stuff like that. Uh, and I also met a few people who I can trade with. Um, who I'm still trading with for eggs, even now that it's finished. Um, yes, I did actually mention them in one of the clips that was missing, but there is a good um, Facebook group here in Toowoomba, the 
Toowoomba Home Produce Swap Group, and I use that uh, that for most of my trades. And so thank you very much to everybody who uh, gave me eggs and avocados and chilies and pecans. I'm so pecans, so good. All right. <laughs> That's all I wanted to cover there. Uh, so yeah, I guess if I had to do that uh, full time, I would need to tear up the entire garden. I just don't have enough space to grow in at the moment to grow all of my own food. And I'd also have to hunt or fish uh, just to have that meat there, you know, for when I need it. But I'm definitely glad that it's over. It's very inconvenient to have to come up with everything you've got to eat every day and then uh, yeah and trying to make everything last and stuff it was just too much work in my opinion uh, so yeah I had to spend all of my time cooking and cleaning and uh, preparing things and uh, just trying to make everything last was was the hardest thing I think in that last week um, I was tempted to cheat a couple of times just because I was a bit over it by that point, but uh, yeah, I managed to control myself and put the chocolate down or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I guess we've got here, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I did manage to make it, I followed the rules, uh, I think the only thing I cheated on is I did use uh, some bottled lemon juice when I didn't have lemons to make my aioli. But, uh, you know, I'm going to let myself off on that. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to do that every day. Um, it's just too much work. I never had time to do anything else. Uh, so, you know, the garden's behind now, plus the weather's freezing, and I uh, just don't really feel like doing that. But I will have to get out there and do that now, so... But all in all, I think I was pretty successful and I'm happy that it's done. I don't think I'll ever do anything like that ever again. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, really. <laughs> Alright, so that's about all I've got for you today. But I am going to be doing a live stream on Sunday afternoon. If you have any more questions, um, put them in the comments and... Um, Hit the notification bell if you want to come along to that because I was trying to schedule it but uh, apparently I can't schedule live streams so Sunday afternoon four or five o'clock um, I'll be there uh, so yeah thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff consider us giving us a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching